Come here, baby. Are you a good girl? You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. Yes, yeah, you're such a good girl. We're we gonna build you a new place so you can be safe outside. Yes, you can't run and get hit in the in the street because you like to run. Yes, you do. Who likes to run? You like to run. Yes, you do. And we're gonna build you a new place. And it's, we're going to connect it right up to our garage so we can just open up the door from the garage. She can cut through the garage and go right to a new outdoor area. And we're just going to use standard materials from any lumber yard. And there she goes. And that's why we're doing it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Good girl. Good girl. No, no, baby. Get over here. Come on, baby. Come on. Quit chasing squirrels. Baby. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Yes, good girl. Come on. You stay by me. <sighs> All right. Well, let's get this video started. If you're just tuning in, Frankie and I wanted to test out a brand new mud mixer that's just hitting the market. And it is the fastest, best mud mixer that we've ever used. And if you want to see more of that in real time, make sure you go check out the video before this. But today we started a project just to test out this mud mixer and we're going to finish this project because we can't leave an itch without scratching it. Or is it... Itching a scratch or scratching an itch? I don't know which it is. Something like that. So let's do whatever that is. dog likes to dig a lot. But, I mean, otherwise, yeah, I mean, you can see where I went. I mean, I didn't really chew nothing up. Oh, yeah, you can see the path. Yeah. <laughs> right there yeah, yeah no it's wet let's show these guys when frankie says it's wet he's not really exaggerating yeah all right well i think that's enough bricks to start right oh yeah that's yep yep
So yeah, my dog likes to dig, but she's not really this bad that I have to bury bricks. This is just in case I ever want to get another fox or another animal that just instinctively has to dig. I know that you need to actually bury bricks underneath the fence so that as they dig down, they hit it and it instinctively stops them. Yeah, that's not animal proof right there by any means. So we're trying to build a dig proof enclosure and uh, you know, we've got the bottom of it exposed and we could pour concrete all the way around. So I'm gonna guess some of you said, well, why don't you just you know use your new cement mixer to pour concrete all the way around inside and outside but like any good landscaper i've got all the materials i need because i've got a lot of extra block lying around i don't know a landscaper yet that i haven't gone into their yard where they don't have spare pallets of block that's too good to throw away but then it just sits in their place for three four or five years and doesn't do anything. I'm that guy, and I'm gonna try to use that up. No sense in killing a good fishing worm. Now one of the things that we do know is we know when we bury the fence like this, it will rot. This is cedar and we bought cedar. We should have got green treat if we were really technically more worried about it. We went with cedar for the look of it because we want to stain it, kind of make it blend in with the rest of the house. And we don't care if the fence rots. We care more about keeping the things that need to stay in in and the things that need to be out, out. So we're kind of sacrificing the fence. So if you guys are building your own fence, I wouldn't recommend burying it like this unless you realize it's gonna make it rot a lot. Fast. A lot faster. How long do you think it'll last being buried like that, Frank? It'll last a few years, it'll last a few years. Yeah. But, and that's all we I need. Think all you guys gotta do, once it starts to rot, you cut it off an inch to show above ground level. With Sawzall, then you got the rest of your fence is sick, like a regular privacy fence. The only reason I buried it because of the animals. Yep. Yeah, we can't have them getting out anymore. And one of the things, you know, I've always fostered and helped animals and taken care of them and what have you. And a lot of you guys have asked, hey, where's your foxes? Well, unfortunately, we were, I was working out in my other enclosure way out there and uh, opened up the door she my fox jumped legitimately over my back and unfortunately I think she ran too far and something happened and I haven't seen her since so another reason why we went with cedar everything versus green treated in case we have a chewer in here you know I just the less chemicals I put into their system the better cedar is a natural substance it's natural decay resistant it's natural insect resistant um, it's it's a it's a prettier wood it's a lot more expensive but in a case like this you got to upgrade a little bit to, to keep things safe and do it right <laughs> I don't have to go very far to get brick what am I thinking
Second. Okay, bring the top my way. Just lift her up. There you go. Okay. I figured that. Okay, because that one board will kind of cut off. Okay, you can set it on. Now, is that going to be buried enough for you there? I mean, once we hit that? Yeah, no, that's fine. Otherwise, it probably goes. I mean, you could go higher if you, I mean, lower, higher, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. But see, I got, put that level on there once. Are we level there? Yeah, right there, right there is your sweet spot. Okay, so. I'm guessing a few of you want to know a little bit more about that cart mate and that's what I'm using to haul the materials up from the back of the lot up to where we're working. I've got a dedicated video coming out on it but a few of the things that I'll share with you right now is on this Xmark Starus that I'm using it on currently it maxes out weight wise at about 200 to 300 pounds before it just overpowers the machine but I can take this cart mate off from that Starus and I can put it on one of my other mowers and that other mower will help increase the load capacity of the cart mate. But I got a whole video coming out on that just for you guys. You haven't screwed that in yet, have you? No. Okay, because I want to throw a couple bricks in. Cut this off yet, Frankie? Yeah, I will. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really know. Pretty close, close, man. Yeah. That's, okay. That's pretty close. All right, let's play Jenga. It does not matter how this looks, nobody's ever going to see it. It's just not going to be viewed. And I just put my hand in dog crap. Okay. Yuck. Goodbye.
Yeah, mm hmm. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, we're gonna be calling this one. We're not quite done with this this project yet, but uh, let me just show you what we're working with here, what we're doing. The reason we're hanging the tin, and we know it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's not meant to be beautiful. It's not beauty. This is function over aesthetics. If we look down, we've got it all brick lined, and then we're wrapping that with tin underground and then once we've got that done you can kind of see how we've got it started then we backfill it and that's going to keep digging animals from wanting to dig and if they do start to dig well you know it is what it is that's all we got for you on this one guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you uh learned something had a little bit of fun got some entertainment out of it i don't know what you know what happens with it so let me know what you guys think of it and we're just going to let you go with that one frankie and i are going to keep working we're going to wrap it up but the sun's going to go down on us so i wanted to make sure i showed you kind of what we were up against and what we were doing oh let me show you the gate how we did that we're not finished with that yet either um we're gonna have we've got the gate set we just use one fence panel here and we just cut the gate in uh, using just the standard fence and then we're just using regular gate latches so we're actually going to have it latched on the top that way kids can't get in the little kids walking through the neighborhood or my grandkids or whoever can't get in into this area because if we've got uh, one of the dogs in here well the reason we're building this is we want to keep them away from people and not have people going to them so that's our animal proof enclosure turned out to be a lot more work than i thought it was going to be we want we're going to hopefully just do something simple but that's never the the way it always works out so but we still had fun and the best part is we got to hang out with you for the day so how does it get better than that right i hope you guys enjoyed the ride and hopefully we'll catch you on the next video god bless you guys go get them